on 43, I had a question coming out of chapter one, number 53, and here we were asked to identify the type of data that would be used to describe a response and then give an example of that data. So I, I made this little flow chart over here. You can see it. All right, and then let's go and take a look at our variable for our particular problem. So we are looking at the number of tickets sold to a concert, and I wanna focus in on that, that word number, right? So as soon as I hear number of, I'm thinking, well, this is definitely gonna be a numerical variable, right? If I said, how many tickets did you sell to a concert? You would tell me a number, you wouldn't say car, you know, you wouldn't have a category. And then in terms of thinking about the number of tickets sold to a concert, do we count that or do we measure that? And I would count the number of tickets that I sold. So that makes this type of data numerical discrete. If you wanna write discrete numerical, that's fine. And then in terms of an example of the type of data or of the data, imagine I, whatever concert venue you want to pick and think about how many tickets you might sell there. So if I wanted to think about something like the Oakland Coliseum, if there was a concert being held there, then that I think holds something like 45,000. I don't know. All right. If I was selling a ticket to a concert in my house, um, then I would have maybe like seven tickets. I'll, I'll label these. But both of these numbers are examples of the type of data. So you could have almost anything here, but how, let me give you a counterexample. You could not have something like, you wouldn't sell 14.2 tickets. That's not a possible value because we don't sell 0.2 tickets. They're discrete, they are taking up isolated points on the number line, and in this case, decimals aren't allowed. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.